So let's get started. Um, again, I'm using Dreamweaver. You don't have to use Dreamweaver uh, if you don't like. The only reason I use it, it has nice syntax highlighting. So let's get rid of that first of all. And let's put our first div tag. Those of you that aren't familiar with um, um, div tags and the like, this might be new to you. Those that you are, you'll understand what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to do is, is um, and again, I can't go into all the intricacies of what an ID is and what a, what a class is, but hopefully you'll be able to do some of your own research and, and follow on anyway. So I'm just going to create a div tag and assign an ID of a header first. And we'll close that and we'll just put header up here just so that we know that it's in there. Uh, then I'm going to put, um, uh, actually, you know what, above that I'm going to put a div a ID a wrapper. I'll explain that a bit later and we're just going to put that div tag right down here like that so we've got the header div tag uh, now we're going to put div uh, id at menu uh, actually we'll call it top menu like that and put top menu like this uh, then we're going to go uh, div id uh, left And div id uh, main body. And uh, actually, we'll just do it this way, only because I know it works better. Uh, div id uh, right. And main body, and then also last one, div id footer. So if we just go into the design view, that's all we should have a look at. And if we go back to our template and we refresh, there we are. So that's all we've got at the moment. Not looking too exciting just yet. So let's put just a little bit of structure behind it first, shall we? So. Uh, uh, the ID we're going uh, the wrapper is what's going to go around the entire um, the entire area so let's, uh, let's get that sorted first so what you need to do first is open up the uh, template.css and right at the top here so in uh, the style sheet template.css we're going to put a hash mark and wrapper, uh, curly bracket, and then we're just going to put margin auto. This will center it in the middle, and we're going to give it a width as well. Give it a width of say 960 pics. Oops. Close that off and save it. Let's see what that gives us to begin with. And there we go. So we can see it's indented a bit because it's now 960 pics. And just so that we can see it, why don't we put a we put a border uh, a thin solid black like that. So now we can see how it's centered in the page. Uh, if we can, and even if we just reduce that, it will stay stay centered. Uh, with the with the width. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to make this uh, header a little bit taller. So now, in the same area, we're going to go down one and put header, uh, hash header, curly bracket, uh, and we'll just give it a background color first. So we give um, background color. Uh, let's just choose something really gaudy so that we can. We can tell, and we'll give it a height. We'll give it a height of say 50 pics. Oops. And again, close that off. Let's take a look at that. And we can see now we've got a background, and it's starting to take shape. You'll notice I'm also using Internet Explorer to do all the testing, and there's good reason for that. Um, I always find that. Most of the mistake, or most of the abnormalities, will come from Internet Explorer rather than Firefox. But I also check in both. So there we are. So so far we've got the header, the wrapper. We're going to do the top menu now. So again, we'll just 
put in a top menu tag menu curly bracket we give it a height of say 20 picks uh, we won't give it a, a background uh, color in fact we'll just leave it like that um, and what else we got left and right and main body so we'll we'll tap in here left just leave that open for a moment uh, right just going to create them rather than fill them in main body and the only thing we'll put in there is put float left and float right whoops okay so we should start to see some resemblance of something that looks a little bit like uh, we've got left main body is sort of in line with the right so and we've got the top menu and we've got the footer at the bottom oh and we forgot to put footer didn't we so just go down one more footer and give that one a height of 30 picks and we'll give that a background color so that we can top and tail it uh, red Fresh that and here we go now we're really starting to cook okay so first thing we need to worry about is uh, you might have noticed that I put in the index.php you might have noticed that I put the left and right above the main body even though you would probably think well shouldn't the main body go in between there and that's what the float does for us the float allows us to push the left to the, the left div tag to the left the right div tag to the right and the main body will slide up in between them and then all we need to do is give either the left and the right a margin or a width I should say and then the main body a margin either side uh, there's fours and against but for the purpose of the exercise for this as I said I'm not going to go into every intricate detail on how to do a template but we'll just do a very simple one um, so I'm going to give the left once it clicks in there I'm going to give the left we'll give them both the, the same width we're going to give it width um, we'll call it 150 picks and we'll do the same on the right okay and then in the main body I'm going to give margin um, oops margin left 155 picks and margin right 155 picks Okay, let's take a look at that now. Did I save that? Save it will be would be good. And you give that another refresh now that we've got it saved, and now we can see what's going on. So we've got the left over here, the main body is separated now from the right, and um, uh, just for fun let's give the left and right a bit of uh, some color so we'll just go um, background color and we'll just give them something white gray like that that one there that will make it stand out a little bit more and save that again and there we go so we're starting to get there 